Well, good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. Today on the channel, we're gonna go next door, get my neighbor's tractor and get his mess cleaned up because this was the remnants of the stuff we split for him last week. And we're also going to get more of his wood and start splitting that and keep taking care of the neighbor. Stick around. There's the little tractor we're going to use to get the driveway cleaned up. And this was last week's mess that we uh, split up for the neighbor. And he's still got a bunch up here in the weeds. There's a bunch of stuff up here. Looks like a piece of oak. And then there's a bunch of gum over here. But uh, we'll get everything split up for him and cleaned up. There actually might be a piece of maple down here. That one stick looks good here. So as you can see, we got the mess cleaned up and it is getting late in the evening. I worked all weekend nights. So I think tonight I'm going to go watch a movie with the wife. We'll see you back here in the morning. But we are back next door and I went ahead and spun the excavator around to where the blade is facing you know, downhill. That way I could kind of level the machine out. Uh, last week when I loaded that other stuff up, I had the blade going forward and I was kind of on an angle and it was kind of sketchy with some bigger pieces. I knew it wasn't going to flip over. This is a pretty big excavator. We've got the rest of this pine over here that we're going to get uh, cleaned up and loaded up into the trailer. Uh, it's a good bit. Um, and like I said, my neighbor will burn everything. So there might be some pieces in here that I keep for myself uh, if there's anything close to 16 inches. But here we go. Let's get loaded up. There is a good bit of pine here. Um, I'm gonna say there's probably three quarters of a cord, maybe half a cord. But some of this stuff I'm going to end up keeping for myself because I'm gonna put some loose racks out at the end of the driveway here soon for campfire wood. And uh, since it's pine and campfire stuff, I might sell it a little cheaper than the hardwood bundles. And especially if it's loose, I'm not having to uh, add money to the pot you know packaging and spending time packaging but let's get the 916 fired up and do some splitting
Well, all right. We ended up getting this wood done and I went and got a haircut. Man, I can actually see my lip again. Uh, I went to Classic Cuts in Perryville and Mr. Rob Young did my hair. The man's a, he's an artist. He did, I mean, I, I got some crisp lines on here now, man. If you guys need a good barber, go check out uh, Rob, Razor Rob. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, I'll plug him in, uh, in the description of this video. Uh, it's just haircuts and stuff. Um, he, he's, a, he's a good artist, man, great artist. But uh, yeah, we got this load of pine split up for the neighbor. I'm gonna go dump this, I'll show you the dump, and then I got somewhere else to go to go pick up some more wood. Well, once again, we've got another good pile of wood. This is 99% pine, but there is still a couple pieces of mulberry left in here. Uh, and there was like one stick of maple in here somewhere. But uh, I've got to go pick up a load of ash that my tree guy that drove by and saw me out working this morning, uh, he called and said, hey, he's got a load of ash and he actually wanted this pine in a trade, but my neighbor wanted the pine, so he got this pine. Man, I really like this haircut. Well, after making that dump next door, a little bit of a mess is all we're left with. Just some bark and some dirt because I am a horrible excavator operator. And we got a little bit of slash underneath the splitter. Miss Veda is making herself at home with some bark, but that's all I got for you this week, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. I hope you guys are staying cool because it's hot and stay hydrated. And I'll catch you back here next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Take care of each other and thank you so much for watching.